Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now mid-April and I am loaded up with barley. We have around about 150, maybe 160,000 litres of barley in storage that we don't currently need. And I'm going to sell some of it. I think... I think I'm doing this right anyway. <laughs> yeah, corn, oats, and wheat are for the grist. Pretty positive of that. So we've got to sell some of the barley. Uh, probably two or three loads. So we'll sell like 80, 120,000 litres. Uh, I'll probably sell... <laughs> I'll do two loads, and then I'll check to make sure we don't need it for the grist mill. But that's what we're doing today, because I want to make a purchase. And it's probably a bit of a wild choice purchase. I'm going to go with it anyway. Because we're going to cut our grass. But I want to be more efficient at cutting our grass. I'm not going to sell our mowers. I'm just going to add to what we have. So uh, let's see what we can get for this. The price isn't the best. But I figure we've got quite a bit of it. Let's sell it. And we're selling at the animal market. This will be going for feed for them. So let's uh, get this in. I'll head back, uh, get the second load, and then uh, I'll show you what we make on that. I think we're going, I think it's about 1,000, just under 1,200, 1,000 litres. Like I say, it's not a great price. 53 grand plus four bonus. We'll take that. So let's go get a refill. This is our second load coming in hot. There we go. And uh, I'm going to sell a third one. I was just thinking two because I've checked and we do need barley for the grist. But we've also got them two rather large barley fields uh, that are going to be ready to harvest. So we might as well make some money off these while we're not really needing it. We've not got the grist running because we've not got everything else we need. And we do have about 60,000 litres in there. Oh, that's not where I should have turned. So I'm going to go back and get one more. And that'll be 135,000 litres of barley sold. Again, another 53,000 plus bonus. And that brings us up to 500, just under 550,000 pounds. I'm not sure, have we been this wealthy yet? Have we been over 500? Oh, look at the success we're having, and uh, <laughs> we're not a successful dairy. Crazy. Right, I want to get this back to the farm, and then we'll uh, get on with what I want to do. Hopefully the rain passes real quick. So the next thing I want to do today is, you know, reality check. We're going to have to sell some cows. I cannot keep spending 100 grand on feed every, three, every two or three days and get nothing in return. So, we have some that are, I've already had a look. I don't think it's, it's these ones, not them ones. Why are they not in the same order? If I come out, sorry. Yeah, if I look in this screen, I can see easier. So, down here, we have the 19, the 23 months. These are the ones that we were given, not them ones, sorry. The 20 months, these are the ones that we were given as a gift. So obviously they're not getting sold, we'll look after them. And they're only a few months away from producing milk. And we're going to sell 50, and it just so happens we have 50. You know, they're a little way off selling milk, but 50 cows is a lot of cows that we're trying to feed that aren't producing anything for us at the minute, and we just can't afford to do it. So I need to find the 465 pound cows. So these be the bad girls. So if we go here, and we're gonna sell them. You know, I, I'm, I'm hoping, well, I doubt that there's 50 of them. They were all brought. So they were, this is gonna be a loss, most, most likely. What do they buy for if they're a calf? 200? If we tell ourselves we brought them at 200, we're, we're doubling our money, nearly, <laughs> okay. Now, unfortunately, we've got no feed. Uh, that'll be addressed at the end of the day. We ran out of feed last night. Uh, I made <laughs> two grand. Two grand this morning in milk sales. Right, the rain has stopped and I'm heading up to the store. 
And we're at the store because I'm going to buy a mower. So if we have a little bit of chisel room here, we're not going to get one of them, although we could afford one of them now. I don't want that. I think what I want is one of these. Never used one. Let's give it. Let's give it a crack. We're going to get the uh, the Heston model, the uh, eighty four fifty. Uh, do tires make much difference? I don't think it will. Uh, GPS, I don't think we'll need, and that's fine. Now this bit, I'm fine with. We'll buy that hundred grand, all ours. The bit I'm not so certain on is the headers. Now this looks like a header, yeah. And it says, uh, "I've always cut the grass." 10 to 10 grass around uh, so it can dry faster. So this will give us conditioned, tethered. Does that ted at the same time? Will that pump out hay? I think with maize plus we'd probably have to do that anyway. But is that what that does? And is this one, although it's just like a combine header, does that just cut grass and then rake it all in and then give us a swath. This is what I'm not certain of. If and it says and conditioner. It's not very big. It's like five meters. I'm gonna give it a, give it a crack. That's another twenty four grand. So I'm gonna buy that. Now what I'm hoping I can do is just get some nice conditioned or cut the grass and have some nice conditioned swaths ready to picked up to go into the clamp for was that even English ready to be picked up yeah ready to be picked up and go in the clamp for silage now that's well wait there wait there wait there can we attach to this I'm not going to try it today let me know in the comments can we attach stuff to this thing can we get like super sneaky, almost cheaty? So we'll put the head on. There we are. Right, we'll get this back to the farm. It's a noisy thing in my headset. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll discuss the plan. Also, the rain stopped. It's lovely. Okay, this is a fun little thing to uh, hoss about in. Can't lie. There we are. I'm just going to park that there. Because before we get going with that, I want to set up the uh, John Deere with the mowers going off on another one. And this way, I can do two lots of cutting at once. And, to be fair, we can do it however we want. Let's just uh, get in position. So I had a little look on the swaffer. And it has the option of conditioned or unconditioned in its own settings. But also with the Mace Plus, I could cycle through and have it as base game, um, semi-dry, dry, conditioned, and hay. I'm not sure if that will override the base or not, since the two options are there. So what I've set it as is both conditioned for the Maze Plus control and for the base control. So then the conditioned grass that comes out of that can be used to go in the clamp. And we can make some silage, some alfalfa silage apparently. And then with this one, I don't think it's going to cut this bit, so I'm not too worried about that. But the rest of the grass... I think it's cuttable. It's, it's showing up that I can cut it. It's, it's ready for harvest. It's a little early, but that is life. So if I get on here, we'll try and... Since we're doing it with coarse play, it shouldn't really cause us too much of an issue. Um, five headlands. Let's just generate. See what it does. Up there. See it through there. That's going to do our double fields. I think that's pretty good actually. That's nice. Now that combined is 10 foot, which is uh, a lot bigger, but at least we'll have two bits of equipment on the go. Now the other header that goes on the swaffer is um, nine. 
so I don't know whether that's why I weren't too sure about the two headers and what they do I think the other one is just straight cut and drop so maybe that is what I wanted but never mind so if we look on this one we can do this conditioned unconditioned uh, what about if I go sorry it all confuses me sometimes with conditioner oh yeah we can't so we can't dry with this so, but you can with the other one Okay. As it is. Where's the uh, point? Ooh, we're starting there, are we? Sorry, all confused me. The uh, the different options and choices. Right, well, we'll just set this one off. This is going to give me conditioned grass. And then I can dry it myself uh, with a tenner. Now this first section ain't going to cut, that's not cuttable. But this, I'm hoping... There you go, is. There we are. So we'll have some on here. Because we need to get feed for those cows, we need to do it. So if I come in this one, I'll show you what I was talking about. Sorry, this is probably where the video gets long. Um, if I go... See, on Z, conditioner or without conditioner, but then on Y... I think Y is its base control. So we can TED this to hay. Base game condition C. That's that's where it confuses me. So we're just gonna go double conditioned. I think that's what I want. Let's hope that's what I want. It's down. And we'll have a bit of a whirl with it. And that's going to give us a tiny little swath. Look at that. Actually, right, the swath is quite thick. Hopefully, uh, our pickup will be okay on that. If not, we can. Uh, well, we may even windrow it, actually. We may still. Although it's a swather, that's uh, quite well spread. We'll just have to see how it goes. If it has issues picking it up, then, then so be it. So, what I'm hoping to do is with the other set uh, with uh, with the John Deere since that's going to be all over the place anyway that's the one that we'll take because there's nothing more to me there's nothing more frustrating than having a uh, mowing set up that drops a swath and then you want to ted it to make hay and then you have to row it up to swath it again so at least with this one, we can just, if need be, just row it back into a bigger rows to make uh, an easier swath to pick up. But I thought this might be fun. Give it a go. And uh, it's quick. Look at that. 15 miles an hour without using any speed cheats. Once the once they're straight, that looks pretty good, actually. So yeah, I am going to crack on with this myself. And uh, we'll see if I can beat the uh, the other mower. I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood in my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit so sharp so freezing so cold behold frostbite they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them don't believe in fate don't believe in feelings I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself I grind on no kneeling got lust for change I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb Cause I'ma live life for the fight Well, I must say, I am super impressed with this We've gotten through that field well, that, that massive meadow. It's now four o'clock, you know, the day's pressing on. But with ease, it didn't feel like it took that long. And we've kicked ass compared to our worker. We're still working through there 
meadow. Not stuck, are they? I bet they've got stuck now. Now I've said that, they've boosted. I checked on them a minute ago, and they weren't stuck. They were, they were working. You're going to make me look like a liar. They've only been there a few minutes. You fool. Right, let's put your, put your route up. What are you supposed to be doing? Where were you? were way out of position from where you should have been by the looks of it let's try put you down this one here you should be alright then so we'll just change that to nearest set them off again So yeah, they did their they did their headlands and uh, started over there. And I've blitzed through mine, blitzed through mine in <laughs> what, four or five hours, six hours. I think we started about half past ten. Just run through a bush. Yeah, that was why I started early with the um, loading and selling of the barley because I knew it would take a long time. Just selling three loads of barley. We started at six and we weren't done until. Now pretty much 10 o'clock, which is a long old time. So I'm going to get started on this one. Now, with the ease that we're now able to do this with two, with two lots on the go, and with this being so efficient, I am considering now selling them uh, that mower set and just using this because we can set this to do hay. If, I, if it allows me to do it, then I can do it. That's what I've rolled up going for anyway. I'm sure, I'm, I think that's the controls for this, and not the not the, not the actual um, Maze Plus thing, because we couldn't set the mowers. They could just set that as conditioned or unconditioned, or I was just not reading right, and we could have done it somewhere else. But anywho, we can do hay straight up and we've got this little box on there it could it could dry I don't know what this does it could dry the grass <laughs> but if we had two of these I think that would just be awesome just get through the grass so quick like it's it allows us to go 16 miles an hour without putting real speed on our twin mower setup is 11 miles an hour so although this isn't twice the speed, it feels twice the speed, it has the extra manoeuvrability, it's nimble, and it only does a maximum, I think, of 18 miles an hour, so if I was to, like, now put on a working speed, says so 25 miles an hour, but the thing will only go 18, I think if we go the downhill, probably hit 19, so I don't even think that's, like, a crazy speed to be going at. If I had two of these on the go, with workers in, I'm just going to slot down. Two of these on the go with workers in, the grass suddenly doesn't become an issue. And then it's not such a worry if I need to do so much of it. So I'm also thinking another big meadow. And I'm sure people think I'm crazy. But I still, honestly, I do not think we're going to have enough grass. Not even close. Not even close. Not even to maintain and because although we've got, we've sold 50 cows, because we've got 250 cows there, we've still got 100 beef cows. We've got 100 beef cows that aren't fattening up very well. And they're not worth anything to sell. There's absolutely no point in trying to sell them. They are worth absolutely nothing. So, I think another meadow could be the answer. It really could. There's some big ones on the map, and I think I'll take a little look at them. And it's not like you guys have to worry about watching me do more meadow work. We've got nothing else to do April 3. I can do it off screen and what have you. I could cut the meadow, get it all loaded up into the clam, and uh, yeah, just, just have so much, so much more. 
to feed because we had nothing. Would we have like 300,000 litres last time? And it was embarrassing. This time, we could have th that other big meadow that I've just cut, this meadow silaged, and if I buy an even bigger one, which I'm looking at, then that's so much better. We've got our corn that we're going to silage, but the big cornfield is going for silage, the small cornfield is going for feed. That's got to put us in better stead. We've got the grist mill ready, all that needs is the corn in. Or the oats, sorry, we've got an oat field. We've got beets ready, we've got potatoes on the way, we've got potato fields. I just think making sure we've got the grass, or even just having a, a, a big meadow now that I can cut, and even if we kept that as fresh grass, and I just loaded a load of fresh grass into the cows for feed, we just did that the whole of uh, April 3, just seeing if that'll last us a bit longer. Because that'll fill up all four, I think, well it might not now, because we've had an update, I think. So I'm not sure, but it should, you know, still help them out. So, uh, yeah, before I keep rambling on, let's show you what I was... Uh, let's turn this off as well. Just while we're in here. Oh, I think it goes away anyway. But the field, I'm thinking, because we're over here, and there's no other fields around here that we can put grass in. Obviously, these are grass meadows, but they sort of belong to this farm. Or oh, sorry, this farm, and we'd have to go through that farm to get to them. But not even down there. I don't want them. They belong at that farm. So they sort of belong at that farm. We can take two of them. Fifty-three at a hundred and three thousand. We're spending that every three days on feed. I'm sure we'd get more than that's worth of feed off that meadow. I'm sure of I'm sure that'd be more viable throughout the year. So I'm gonna buy it. And that's I believe the biggest meadow on the map. Oh, I forgot to beat my machine up again. So what I can do now is continue to cut this. Then Head over, cut the other one, and I say, try and keep that as fresh grass. I don't know. That's this is something fresh grass. I can put all that into my cows, and I'll do that through April, April two, and I'll get this uh, conditioned grass. This I'll put all in the clamp, so that's ready for silage. And I'll try while I'm out doing the, uh, the big meadow, I'll uh, put a worker on that field and have that done as hay and then get them to roll that up. So then when we come back in uh, uh, May, I think there's a harvest in May, but then we can quickly do the bales, just stack the bales up, get them moved somewhere, and then, uh, then feel like we're getting somewhere. Because I can put the, like I say, the wet grass, the fresh grass, I can put that in. We've got some hay bales already for roughage. Let's just look at our cows that way. Grass-fed dairy. So yeah, that's that's sort of what I'm thinking. That's what the big plan of this episode turned out to be. More grass planning. Uh, we've got ourselves a new bit of kit, and I think I'm sort of getting somewhere in get to grips with feeding our cows with uh, Maze Plus. I don't want to have to sell more cows. When we do finally sell the uh, the beefers, um, which probably actually will be this year, we'll replace them, but we'll only get 50. We'll get half the beef cow. So we don't have to feed them quite so much. And as soon as they get big, we sell them. So we'll, we'll try that. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my evening. This may turn out that this becomes a shorter episode than I thought it would do. Um, it depends on <laughs> how long I want to do a time lapse for. I do, you don't need to see the whole field being done. I'll just do my usual minute, minute and a half. But yeah, 
hopefully uh, you've enjoyed the episode and uh, if you know if we can attach stuff and really start to do some weird stuff with this uh, swaffer on the back there let me know also should we be allowed to dry with this probably not but you know what we're going to go with it because we need a little help in hand now it's getting crazy so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos go live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have yourselves a wonderful day hopefully i'll see you in the next one hopefully you're doing something different from grass bye bye